I have some pet peeves, especially when people throw their litter at me. I mean, they try to go through the window, you know, they try to take little, you know, pieces of paper and stuff from um, Speedway, stuff from, uh, stuff from the McDonald's, and then they take wrappers and they take straws and then they fling it out the window and sometimes they even hit me and that's a pet peeve of mine. Or, you know, and then another thing is when people say, they're going to be back in a second. Oh, the second ran out. Too late now. And then about 10 hours later, they're like, hi, hey, are you still there? I'm like, and then, and then they wonder why you left them. You gave up. You just gave up. And then another thing is, your old Grandma Rose. Hey, Grandma Rose, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? And they need hearing aids. They can't hear you. They say, what? What, sonny boy? What, sonny boy? Giblet head like I'm a uh, old granny. Can't hear. Worth a, worth a hearing aid. Crying out loud. And, they, that's, and then they get, then they sell these little devices to put in your little ear socket. And then you run your trap pole back at her. You're like, old granny. Old granny. Old granny. I'm... Can you hear me? And then she turns around and says, what? 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 Almost sounds like a parrot. I mean, I I like birds, you know? I mean, parakeets especially. I mean, they have a vibe about them. It's like you talk to them and then they talk back at you and sometimes they cuss at you and you're like, what on God's earth is going on? You just can't figure it out for the, for the love of life, even for the hate of life. You know, and then people turn around and say, I love you to death. I love you to life. Well, where's the, you know, this is confusing, guys. Help me out here. Help me out. So, I filed bankruptcy. I'm a, um, ex, um, actually, I'm a vet of ex-vet. Um, and I actually, I, I really, people look at me and they laugh. They say, really, I, I'm not a vet because simple reason I did not fight in a, in, in a, in a war. You call that a war? It looks more like a party to me. Everybody throwing out freebies and stuff. And then here we have our commander in chief giving out his phone number for free as if he wants to hang out with these world leaders and kick it and go out and celebrate and go out and slug some beers down and have a good old jolly time and play some cards at the casino or something. Like, he just wants to have friends. Do you blame him? Do I have friends? Yes, you guys, you're my friends. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe I'm a little bit off over there. Maybe I'm off my rocker a little bit. But I just slightly don't think that I'm your friend. I take that back. I'll take her back. Her back is gorgeous. Look at the curvature. Look at that. Oh my God, it's like an hourglass shape almost. God, it makes me want to slobber like a dog. See, that's another thing. When you go about your business and do your daily thing, your general chores, and you're out and about and, you, and you're shopping, and then you happen your eyes upon something that looks good, us men, us as guys, we just want that. It's like a toy, you know, it's like a material thing. We just want it. Even if we're spiritual and we don't, you know, hey, even spiritual, that's where they, they do it the most, spiritual people that are so into um, religion and religious ways. I mean, those are the people you got to watch out for when it comes to that department, let me tell you. Um, so, you know, and I shift, a, well, you know, and I, I have a condition. I have a foot fungus condition, and I don't know if it's a, if it's just there to piss me off or if it's just there because it's my fault and I caught it on purpose. Or if I'm just doomed, if it's a curse, if someone laid a curse on me, I don't know. I mean, do you guys know? I don't know. Uh, you know, actually you don't know. Who am I fooling? Who am I kidding? You don't know. You don't know anything. You don't know anything. If I sit here and I say to you, tell me a joke, tell me a joke. You're going to point right at me, at me, because I am 
I'm a royal. I'm not a joke, you know. I'm beyond that. I'm actually a low life individual that tries to boost my own self, my own station in life because I want to be so on top of everybody else so I could brag and say, hey, I'm better than you, nan, nan, a boo boo. But then, you know, it's kind of ironic because people turn around and say the same thing to me and try to insult me in doing in doing so. They, they try to throw it back in my lap. Like, hey, well, hey, Sonny boy. She still can't hear over there. Granny, Granny, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? No, no, Granny, no, no, Granny. What, what, what? What, what? What? See, see, when you can't hear, that's a problem. When you can't see, that's even a bigger problem. And when you're bald, unlike me, that's even a bigger problem. And when you can't move, like when you when you when you can't twi twiddle your fingers, that means that you're paralyzed. And so here we go again. I, I'm getting this this kind of feeling like people just aren't liking my comedy. What is that? What is with this? What is? Why is this the case? Why is this the case? Some of you, on the other hand, love my. funny my funnies my funnies you know I call it funnies you can call it whatever you want 